Monday Night Football, Titans at Dolphins on ESPN, 730 Eastern. I'm going to give you a free play in this game and let you know how to make some money with analysis. That's coming up in this video in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, breaking down the first of two Monday Night Games this week for, this is the first one, it's 730 Eastern on ESPN, Titans at Dolphins. And these are two offenses that are struggling. We're not going to overthink it. The under is the play in this game. But shop around for the best number because as I check the Wager Talk live odds screen this weekend, you'll see there's both 36.5s and 37s on the board. 37 is a very key total. In fact, 37 and 41, probably the two most key totals in all of NFL football. You know, we talk about 3 and 7 with point spreads. 37 and 41 are the equivalent with totals. There's about a 4 to 5% chance this game lands exactly on 37 points. So obviously under 37 is a stronger play than 36 and a half. But either way, the under is the only way I would play this Monday night football game in Miami. And let's start with the Dolphins. As I record this on Saturday this weekend for you, um, it's still uncertain who the starting quarterback is going to be for the Miami Dolphins. Tua Tagovailoa obviously is out. He is on injured reserve concussion protocol. His uh, career is really in jeopardy. But the backup quarterback, Skylar Thompson, um, is questionable. Of course, he was a seventh-round pick from Kansas State two years ago. Uh, he has appeared now in a couple games for Miami this season. And um, he's been pretty mediocre, 78.7 QB rating. Uh, Tua was 78.9, to put it in perspective. But Tua averaged almost eight yards per pass attempt. Skylar Thompson's averaged just 5.7. If Thompson doesn't go, it's going to most likely be Tim Boyle, the third-string quarterback, and it looks like it might be Tim Boyle as um, Tyreek Hill actually let it slip that he was throwing passes to him this week in practice um, and then tried to cover it up afterwards. So my guess is that Tim Boyle will probably be the starting quarterback if Skylar Thompson can't go, and that's going to be bad news for the Dolphins. Uh, Boyle's sixth season out of Eastern Kentucky has played for five different teams the last five years in the NFL, and he has not played well. He's had very limited appearances, but he did have uh, 94 pass attempts with the Lions back in 2021, and it was pretty ugly. Three touchdowns, six interceptions with a 63 quarterback rating. And then a couple years later with the Jets in 2023, last year actually with the Jets, uh, he appeared in three games through 77 passes, one touchdown, four interceptions, and a bad 56 rating. So once again, in his career now over six seasons, four touchdowns, 12 interceptions, and barely averages over five yards per pass attempt. Uh, so the Dolphins are in some serious trouble if Tim Boyle is the starting quarterback. And it very well looks like it might be him once again because Tyreek Hill mentioned that he was getting some passes from him. Um, they did recently sign veteran Tyler Huntley, which probably would be a better option than either one of those guys. Just not sure um, he's had enough work with the team to go quite yet this week. But no matter how you cut it, Tua is out, and the quarterback situation is not good for Miami, especially considering they're facing one of the best defenses in the NFL right now. Tennessee Titans are off to a fantastic defensive start. In fact, they've been good for several years defensively, giving up just 18.5 points a game this year, just over 5 yards per play, just 5.9 yards per pass. So it's hard to imagine uh, the Dolphins are going to be able to move the ball through the air at all in this game. And that's a problem because Miami's running game has not been very good this year, just 3.7 yards per rush. Meanwhile, Tennessee's got their own problems offensively. We saw that last week when they only put up 14 points at Green Bay, and they had only 33 total rushing yards. They've had now eight turnovers in three games, and they've only forced one. So, yes, they are probably due for some better fortune, but the offense has been sloppy. They've scored 17 or less in all three games this season, and Will Levis does not look like he's the answer at quarterback. He did play better against the Packers last week. Uh, but still, four touchdowns, five interceptions in just three games. So two questionable quarterback situations, two decent defensive teams. Dolphins aren't great, but I think it's enough to slow down a Tennessee team that has scored 17 or less in each game this season. Take a look at under the total, Dolphins and Titans. Once again, 36 and a half, 37. Shop around because that 37 is a very key number, but under is the only way I would play this one on Monday night. 7.30 Eastern on ESPN. If you're finding these free play videos useful, thumbs up, like is always appreciated. Don't forget to comment below as well. What are your thoughts on this game? How are you playing side and total here on Monday Night Football? What are some player props you're looking at? I do read the comments and I reply back. Don't forget to click subscribe and click the bell as well for instant alerts when these free play solo videos go up throughout the week for football, baseball, basketball, every sport, every day. Click that bell for an instant alert when these solo free play videos are posted. And if you'd like to get my official best bets each and every day at wagertalk.com, go to my personal page, Steve Merrill, 
at wagertalk.com. And you can get my best bets on a daily basis, or you can save big with a direct all-access subscription. And if you haven't taken advantage of the last couple weeks, shame on you as we enter the weekend on red-hot runs in both baseball and football. Football, of course, entering this season We were number one combined college and pro the last two seasons in net units one. NBA starts in a few weeks. Number one the last three years combined in NBA units one. Number one in college hoops just a couple years ago. And also baseball has been red hot to say the least. In fact, baseball in a current 31 and 13 run as we head into the weekend. So once again, it's a great time to be in all sports, all access. In fact, in the next couple weeks when basketball begins, it's the only time of year you can get baseball, football, and basketball all at the same time. So why not lock up a direct subscription? You can still get a $800 discount on my one-year all-access, all-sports special with promo code SM365. Gets an instant $800 discount. Works out to just over $3 a day, just over a dollar a play for every football, baseball, basketball, college, and pro best bet for the next 365 days and nights. But you got to use promo code SM365 for that instant $800 discount. Don't have to memorize it. Go to my page right now. You'll see the promo code, the weekly specials, and also the daily free play. I post a free play each and every day on my page with analysis. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Hey, get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Follow me on X and Instagram at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And be sure to stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free betting content coming up next.